Jerry Conlon was a victim of one of the most serious miscarriages of justice in British history. And I said, no, you're not locking me up. The judges just said I'm innocent and free to go. I want to go out the front. Show me how to get out the front. Striding to freedom after years in jail. And all I could hear was my father's voice saying, they put us in through the back door. You go out the front, you go out the front, what they tell the world, what they did. Because this has been the first time that the British legal system had been exposed. And I watched my father die in a British prison for something he didn't do. What they had done to innocent people. They arrest me here in Belfast. In the house, you were in my own home, in my own bed. They were beating me. They were torturing me. They held me naked the whole time I was in the police station. Totally unaware that while Helen Conlon were here, they were plotting the Guildford bombings. The media, they believed the lies that the police told them. Hell couldn't have been any harder, because this actually was a living hell. Shitting in your food, pissing in your food, putting glass in your food, putting stones in your food. I seen starvings, beatings. I seen a guy set himself on fire. I didn't realize that I was damaged. The whole trauma of it all. Because there's nothing more precious in life than human, human rights. rights. My father loved me and idolised me and came to try and help me in, in the most desperate of situations and eventually paid for it with his life. All the people who were involved reached the highest level of their profession and all the people involved withheld evidence, perjured, and witnessed torture of innocent people. That stigma doesn't leave you. It's still resonating in my head. I have to see a psychiatrist, Lorenzo, twice a week. You know, it's not normal for you to be arrested for something you haven't done, for the most serious of crimes, terrorism. And then when your father comes to get you a lawyer, they arrest him. That doesn't happen. I, I, I don't know anyone that has happened to him. What country does this to its own citizens? I'll tell you. Fucking Pinochet does it. Saddam Hussein does it. All the fucking despots. And you set yourselves up as fucking moral guardians of fucking people's human rights. You murdered my fucking father. Father.